Hello and welcome to Dhyas Fun Play. In today's video, let's see the different types of energies. Thermal energy is an energy that is derived from a hot substance. All objects and matters are made up of atoms and molecules. These atoms and molecules move very faster and collide with each other when the substance's temperature increases and heats up. So, thermal energy is derived from a substance whose atoms and molecules are vibrating faster due to a rise in temperature. A glass of hot water warms from the sun or any hot source, baking a cake in an oven are all examples of thermal energy. Why does water become lukewarm when you mix hot and cold water together? Let's take a glass of hot water for example. The hot water has thermal energy from its vibrating atoms and molecules. When you pour some cold water into a glass of hot water, some of the thermal energy from the hot water is transferred into the cold water and cools the hot water. Chemical energy is stored in the bonds of chemical compounds and released when a chemical reaction takes place. Chemical energy is the most common type of energy needed for the survival of humans and the natural world. The food that we eat, coal, chemical batteries are all examples of chemical energy. The food that we eat contains stored chemical energy. During digestion, the bonds between the atoms and molecules in the food break and a chemical reaction takes place and new compounds are created which gives us the energy to grow, move around and survive. Nuclear energy is an energy that comes from the nucleus of an atom. This source of energy can be produced in two ways, nuclear fission or nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion happens when nuclei of atoms are fused or combined together. Sun produces energy in this method. Nuclear fission happens when nuclei of atoms are split apart into several parts. Nuclear plants use this method to generate electricity. Electrical energy is the energy that results from the movement of charged particles like electrons through a conductor. The faster the charges move, the more electrical energy they can carry. The movement of charged particles is called current. Lightning, vehicle batteries, electric eels, etc. are few sources of electrical energy. Radiant energy is a type of energy that travels in waves. Radiant energy is made up of tiny particles called photons and can travel through space. Sunlight, radio waves, microwaves and x-rays are all examples of radiant energy. It can also be described as electromagnetic radiation. Radiant energy is used to generate electricity through solar panels. Radiant energy is also used by plants in photosynthesis to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Light energy is a form of electromagnetic radiation. Light is made up of particles called photons which are tiny packets of energy. Light energy travels in the form of waves at a very high speed. Light energy is the only form of energy visible to a human eye. Light energy is given off by things like sun, stars, light bulbs, lamps and other hot objects. Motion energy or mechanical energy is the energy stored in moving objects. It is the sum of an object's kinetic energy and potential energy. The faster the object moves, more the energy is stored. Motion energy can be found in any moving object, blowing wind, moving car, throwing ball are all examples of motion energy. When a car crashes, it loses all of its motion energy and stops. Sound energy is a form of energy that can be heard by living things. Sound is caused by vibrations. Sound energy can move through mediums like air or water but not in vacuum because there are no atoms to transmit the vibrations in vacuum. Talking, clapping and playing musical instruments are all examples of sound energy. Elastic energy is the energy stored in an object when the object undergoes a temporary strain. A stretched elastic band or a bowstring that shoots an arrow comes back to its normal shape after the external force is removed. Gravitational energy is the energy associated with the Earth's gravitational force. It is the energy stored in an object due to its height above the Earth's surface. The heavier the object and the higher it is above the Earth's surface, the more gravitational potential energy it holds.
for watching the S1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Why not subscribe right here, right now? Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. The S1 Play.